I want something fancy, even though this is just a horrible place to live. Woolen doors. They've got curtains. Do we want a curtain? <laughs> Let's go make a curtain. I'm going to put a curtain to protect us from xenomorphs. Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of my AVP Let's Play Season 3. That's gonna get weird saying that from now on. Anyway, it's because I'm so used to Season 2. Alright, so I've set up a little miniature base around here. Uh, just enough to keep the Xenomorphs out, hopefully. And I've set it up so that they can't climb up. So if they reach this point, they'll try climb up and then they'll get stuck. Similar to spiders, what you do in the mob traps. I've also, if I press F7... I think I've gotten rid of most of the spawn points around here. I managed to make a furnace. Uh, no, not make a furnace. I managed to... I can't remember if I did it in the last episode, but I found one. Um, also, some people were saying that the actual roads made out of cobblestone. For some reason, I didn't even see it. I was too busy being terrified by xenomorphs. So, yeah, we have a furnace. I've gotten some stuff, some charcoal. Um, I've put all my stuff in the chest because I was just going out in bat mode with the wooden sword, wooden pickaxe, and wooden shovel. And... <laughs> Hoping to God that nothing bad would really happen. So I've I've got a Xen I've got a xenomorph helmet actually at the moment that I got off one of the dead ones. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so this does seven plus attack damage. All right, people said the cobble there was cobblestone on the roads. Let's go get that. All right, so I didn't actually put a door in. It's because I had a bat mode. Smarty, smarty. See, this is what I use bat mode for. <laughs> that's a door. <laughs> cool. All right, so there was yep. You're right, whoever said that. Cobblestone. Right, nice. Oh, hello. I also maybe want to maybe farm some xenomorphs to see if I can get some more armor off them. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know how we're meant to do that yet, though. We might need to get some sort of ranged weapon. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're over there. Yep, there's one. You see it? A little tail wagging. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, we also have to be careful of this abomination. I don't know where it is, but... Yeah, also the map's working for some reason. It wasn't working before. Oh my god, hello. It's a baddie. It's like the map just decides when it wants to work. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Main, main point, I'm just going out there to get some cobblestone. Monster. I want to see how much damage the, swords, the stone sword does. Ow. I should probably actually put a door. It's getting annoying. Yeah, we'll put a door. Uh, doo -doo. Are there any cool doors? There are molasses doors, but I'm pretty sure I can't craft them yet because I need some more complicated stuff. So, what have we got? A wooden glass door. That seems okay. I want something fancy, even though this is just a horrible place to live. Woolen doors. They've got curtains. Do we want a curtain? <laughs> Let's go make a curtain. I'm going to put a curtain to protect us, to protect us from xenomorphs. Okay. There should be some curtain stuff around here. Before I go out though, let's get the actual sword. Let's 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 just craft the stone sword, make sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um bam. Bam bam. How much damage do you do? 5 attack. I'll keep that as a whatever. So I'll actually replace my tools with stone tools. Um, yeah, thanks for whoever said that. I didn't, I did I actually completely, I was completely oblivious to the stone paths. Uh, a few of you said that, actually. So, that should be okay. I don't really need that Ardite sword. I'm not actually going to take it. Uh, if I've got my armor on me, I might as well. Alright, that should be it. I do not want to try the Plasma Caster, because I blew myself up a few times trying to use it. Um... He may be a little bugged. I'm not sure. When you shoot it, sometimes you, it, it collapses in on you. It, like, it hits your hitbox instantly, and you die. Like, instantaneously. So, for that, we'll, we'll just leave that for now. How about we just start exploring some of these houses, uh, buildings, and getting some resources. That sound good? Oh my god, this thing is completely overrun. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, I have to get out of here. Otherwise, the acid's gonna fall on me when I kill it. Where did it go? Oh my god. It just climbed all the way up. Great. 
Fantastic. Um, I want to get out. Okay. Maybe we should bring some torches with us, and as we go along, we'll start getting rid of all the spawn points. Then hopefully we can, using a process of elimination, find this abomination. Because this place is gigantic. Okay. Um, I think with the Tinker's stuff, you can right-click, can't you? No. Okay, never mind. Alright, so we've got torches, and... Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to... I really don't want to take the Plasma Caster, because it's going to cause more problems than solve them. It's just going to blow me up non-stop. Alright, let's start clearing out this area. Alright, at least I'm getting lots of sticks. I guess that's a upside. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back once all this is gone. Okay, since all this stuff is actually giving me sticks, I can actually make carpenter's blocks really, really easily. So, for every piece of wood, I get five carpenter's blocks, so I can actually fill in all the gaps. So, this is amazing, actually. Um, let's quickly make a crafting table. And, should be able to make a whole bunch of carpenter's blocks, and we can fill in all the gaps. And, uh, this will sort of just tell us that we've been here, I guess. I mean, because we... I can use other blocks, but this seems to be like a really good um, time saver. Yeah, at least we can identify which buildings we've explored. I don't know if there's anything up there, but yeah, I just wanted to pop back to show you that little idea with the carpenter's blocks. Awesome. Oh, there's some iron bars up there. Oh, I don't think we can get them with a stone pick, though. If I remember correctly. Maybe. Oh, we can? Awesome. Okay. Alright, I'll be back again just harvesting. Okay, popping back again. Um, there's actually another thing I can do as well. I can mix all these carpenters blocks together to make solid carpenters blocks, which is probably better, a lot better than the ones I have at the moment. Also, I think I'm going to start using stairs instead of jumping all the time, because I only have a certain amount of food. Um, I can't remember who... I think it was Cyber. Cyber, thank you for telling me. Uh, I forgot about the Rotten Flesh trick with Tinker's Construct. You can dry that out for cooked jerky or something. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, there seems to be a few other food alternatives, but they're very limited at the moment, because I think most of this place is taken up by Xenomorphs, and the, the only other vanilla bobs that are spawning seem to be the bats and a few zombies and a few creepers, but it's mostly Xenomorphs taking up this entire area. So, I'm just trying to think of ways I can reduce the amount of food, uh, food intake I'm taking up. So, hopefully this works out well. We're nearly at the top of this building, then we can have a vantage point. We don't have to go into bat mode. Also, this jetpack over here, really easy to make in a normal world. In this world, no. Not easy whatsoever. I don't have any of this stuff. <sighs> oh, oh, no, wait, never mind. Yeah, we have the note block, but to make a sawmill, we need stuff, so that's irritating. Alright, gonna continue up this building. I think we're nearly at the top, actually. Hopefully. Wait, what? Alright, that's a collapsible block, block, I think. What? I'm confused. Did I just waste all these? Yes, I did. <laughs> Can I put... No! No! Really? Boo. Okay, I'll be right back. Nearly dead. Nearly dead. Xenomorph got me. Nearly dead. Nearly dead. <laughs> I went to go get some wood and I nearly, nearly died. Oh dear. <laughs> Shit, where's my cakes? Uh, cake. Ah! That was weird. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let me put some stuff away. Oh, I see it. Oh my god, there's two of them. Hello. Maybe I can... They can't get through one by one holes, right? Maybe we can... 
Can we do this? Oh, yeah! I guess this will be our farming method. To get some armor, maybe. Come on, buddy. Did I get anything? I have no idea. You, come here. Awesome. Those guys are way too tough to take on outside there. Especially with the stuff I have at the moment. Wow. <laughs> Alright. I'll pop back every now and then if I come across a Xenomorph, because I'm... I get pretty excited when I <laughs> when I kill them, because I hope you're hoping for some new armor. Oh yes! Oh my god, yes! What is that? That's a leg and another helmet. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, I wasn't going to cut back, because I don't really want to keep cutting cut back. It's sort of irritating every time I come across any uh, a Xenomorph, but... Awesome! Alright! A little bit more armor. <gasps> if we can get the whole set, we can climb buildings. Oh yeah! That's awesome. Alright, let me clear out this area first and then... Okay, yep, okay. I'm getting excited. Alright guys, we're on the top of the building. This is awesome. We can actually have a look at the whole outlay of the land. Do, 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 do. So, as you can see, I only have half a heart left because the Xenomorph that decided to climb up the building decided to ambush me just as I was building stuff. So, yep, i got half a heart left. And I forgot my torches. Wonderful. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of all the spawn points around here. Um, that should do. Cool. Alright. That's our little house. Um, got buildings in every direction. Man, this is going to be tough. Is that up there? Oh no, that's nothing. Alright. So from this point on, I think our main goal might be to get better equipped. So, we wanted a curtain, and we probably want Xenomorph armor. So, I think what we're going to do is, because we've got a safe enough home at the moment, we might want to expand that a bit and start making passageways to all the buildings. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, because in the book it said that once I slay the Abomination, the next trial will begin, and the teleporter will pop up or whatever. So, I'm assuming this area will be completely useless after that's done. But I'm not sure how long it's going to take for us to kill the Abomination. So I'm going to take it the long way and just start make, th make things really, really, really nice and simple and as easy as I can make it so I don't die continuously. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't want to fail um, this Abomination because I don't know how much time we got and... Minus the fact that you can die as many times as you want in Minecraft. But let's pretend that doesn't happen. Let's pretend that we're cool we can officially die. Yes, we can. We can officially die. Okay. So, yeah, I want to make it nice and easy to find this abomination so we can get out of here. But as I said, I don't know, I don't know how long we're going to be in this city thing or whatever. I'm hoping they'll let us go after this. Maybe they're just... I don't know. I highly doubt it. Predators are not forgiving. So... Okay, I'm going to have a look at how long I've been recording for, and I'll, 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 be, I'll be back. Alright, we're about to wrap up, so I'm going to head all the way back down. So if I can go like this. There we go. And I'm going to record an episode right after this one, so don't worry. Um, it won't be another few days, it'll probably just be one day until the next one. Um, for some reason, you know what's funny? My new computer can process videos really fast, but for some reason my internet's going really slow when it uploads. <laughs> so I just can't win, can I? Um, like it takes it takes about what was it about a thirty minute video. Hang on, my xenomorph is chewing on her ass. Ira, stop. Okay, a dog. Anyway, um, yeah. So it takes about five minutes to process a thirty minute video on my old computer. It would take about an hour, but <laughs> it's basically reversed now. Stop chewing on your ass. So it's basically reversed now. So. <laughs> A, t a 10 minute video takes about 2 hours to upload, um, whereas on the other other computer, I don't know what's going on, the internet's, it's like the internet decided to go all won wonky doodly as soon as I got a new computer, so that is the most irritating thing ever on the entire earth, so, so I still gotta keep the videos short, I just cannot win, STOP CHEWING ON YOUR ASS! 
So yeah, um, that's hilarious. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so we're probably going to go Xenomorph hunting after this and uh, maybe find a curtain. We can find a curtain. Sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, sure there's some wool inside one of the areas around here. This was like an abandoned shopping area. So we'll find that. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about the dog chewing on our ass. See you in the next one. Adios.